Maps in iOS 10 has been completely redesigned. Here's what to expect. So when you first open up the Maps app, you'll notice that at the bottom you have a section that you can type in. But you can also lift it up and see a list of recent places and places that you may want to go based on what Apple calls Siri intelligence. And this is based on your habits, calendar events, things like that. Siri intelligence will also give you suggestions based on traffic or appointments and will automatically show you an option to navigate there based on that. When getting directions, there's now in-route traffic information, an option to avoid tolls, and a dynamic view that allows you to look ahead and see what's coming when you're navigating. The navigation view also has more options, so you can search for something like food or gas while in route, and Maps will automatically add that detour without having to quit navigation. Now, when you get to where you're going, Maps automatically logs where you parked your car, so if you forget, you can easily find it. Lastly is Map Extensions. This allows third-party apps to integrate directly into the Maps app to let users interact without actually leaving Maps. So say you're looking for a restaurant, you can easily reserve a table right through OpenTable. Or if you're looking for directions, you can quickly hail an Uber. You can do all of this from the Maps interface without going into a separate app. So that is Maps in iOS 10. It's still in beta, so there may be some changes, but this lets us know what to expect in the fall. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to subscribe to see when new videos are out and visit MacGamers.com for more. Thank you all for watching. I'm Mac Gonzalez with MacGamers, and I'll see you next time.